Hey guys and welcome to another lesson. In this one we will talk about the printing of our AutoCAD drawing. So we have this drawing. Let's go to another one. You can see this one is an electrical uh, drawing consisting of uh, luminaires. As you can see all of the luminaires inside our uh, drawing like this. Different rooms. Okay. Like this. Each has their own luminaires. You can see these luminaires which can be done using uh, Dialex Evo or uh, Dialex Red uh, programs. Both of them will lead to the same stuff. And you can see this representing the circuits, different circuits, and the panel as you can see here. We will talk about the architecture. Uh, architectural uh, drawing or how to read that this drawing uh, in the next lessons okay so don't worry about this uh, point okay so you can see there are uh, power circuits like this and we have luminaires as you can see here and this is our legend now let's say for example i would like to let's move all of this move anyway like this put it here Okay, now first, I would like to uh, print this drawing. In order to print this drawing, you have two options. Either to use Control B, Control P, or um, Plot, like this, Plot, and Enter. It will give you, hey, you are opening multiple drawings or layouts. You can see one, two, three. Would you like to uh, patch a plot to uh, plot uh, or uh, plot a multiple drawings at the same time, or you would like to plot a single sheet? For now, I would like to plot a single sheet as you can see here. Now, you will see these options when you open any uh, print or any, uh, if you would like to print any drawing. Number one here, if you have an already set up page setup that you have already done before, the setting that you would like to do when you print this one. We'll see these are the settings that you have currently in uh, plotting or in printing. The first one which is printer. Which printer you would like to use to print this stuff? We would like to print this DWG uh, drawing. So choose the printer that's suitable for you and connect it to the PC to print this drawing. So for now, I would like to make it as a PDF. So we will choose the option DWG to PDF like this. This will not print in, in the printer, but it will convert this one into PDF. Okay. Number two, you will see here paper size. So we have different types of paper that are used in uh, different types of drawing, not just electrical, but all types of drawing. We usually use A3, A2, and A1. So for example, I will choose um, A3 drawing. You can see two types of A3, this one and this one. What's the difference between them? Let's see. So if I choose A3 1, 420 multiplied by 297, like this length multiplied by width you can see here this is as an image you can see here 420 like this and two lines of like this if i choose the second option like this it will be 297 and 400 as if it is rotated okay don't worry it will never matter because we are having the portrait and landscape uh, orientation which will help us to identify this okay so for now, let's say we will choose uh, this one. Okay, so this is for uh, people size. Number two, plot area. What area do you would like to plot? Okay, now um, here we have several options. We will talk about three of them right now. Number one, display. What does it do? If you select it to plot display, what will happen? It will plot the current display. So if you look at the display right now, this is our display, which you see right now. It will plot it as it is. Okay. So if you click on here on uh, preview like this, you can see it plotted the exact what we have just seen. Okay. Now, for example, click on escape to get out of this. 
Now let's say, um, let's say for example, if I selected, um, so okay, so if we zoom in like this, okay, and then we do plot once more like this, okay, and you will see this is our display, right? Now plot to display again. Now let's make this to BDF like this. Now let's preview our drawing. If you look at this, this is what we see in this drawing, okay? Now another option here, which is, which we always use, center the plot to center this image to the um, printer, as you can see. What we see on the display is centered here. If we remove this option, skip like this, remove this option and preview once more, you can see it is not centered okay okay that's the first option display what we have just seen right now the second option which is extends it uh, do everyone so if we click on preview it shows you the extent of your own drawing everything inside our drawing okay now the option which we usually use which is very important which is window what does window do? It selects a specific part. Let's say I would like to print this drawing on. So I'm going to select it, like click and select the area I would like to print, this one. So if I click like this, like this, we selected this area, right? Now let's look at the preview once more, like this. You can see the selected area is now being blotted. However, there are some parts that are cut out. So I'm going to go back here and center the plot like this. This is very important and the preview. You can see now the selected part is showing in our printer, as you can see here with their own colors. Okay, great. Okay, number three. So we learned about with this type of printer, type of paper sizing. Uh, what to plot here this is window is very important to select what part to be uh, drawing if we select this like this preview it will just print this legend part however you can see that yellow color is not appearing right yellow color is not appearing this is a common problem when we uh, print these uh, figures so if I would like to, let's say, I would like to change this, any, any yellow color inside the drawing into, let's say, black. Okay, if I would like to change it into black, how can I do something like this? So the first step that we have here, several styles of printing, okay? We use usually this one, a CAD and a monochrome. The ACAD gives us colored output. Monochrome gives us a black and white uh, output. Okay, the rest are several degrees and several options. So for example, let's say ACAD and see what will happen. Yes, like this and the preview. Look at here, all of, all of the drawing is colored. Nothing changed, right? However, I choose the monochrome, uh, monochrome like this like this and the preview, you can see everything in our drawing became black and white, right? Okay, everything now black and white. Okay, now let's say if I would like it colored like this. However, however, I would like to replace, let's select window first, like this, all of these, okay, like this. And let's say I would like to replace every yellow color with black without editing in my own drawing what i'm going to do is simply go here you can see i selected the colored then click here to edit then the color yellow i would like to change it to what use object color which is yellow no i would like to replace each yellow with black now, if you look at the other colors, you can see all of them use object color. So if it is red, it will be red. If it is uh, purple, it will be uh, not this one. If it is purple, it will be purple. If it is pink, it will be pink and etc. 
for yellow it will be black now let's see what will happen exactly look at the drawing for each of these yellow color and let's say preview like this look at the yellow colors all of yellow colors change into black and you can see these blocks were yellow it changed into black and the rest of colors are the same okay that's a very helpful option inside the uh, drawing of AutoCAD okay now quality let's make it maximum you can change the quality of DPI as you would like it will affect the size of the PDF uh, file since we are converting it into PDF um, and selected window now we have two options here portrait and landscape so we have seen landscape like this and let's look at it you can see this is our drawing and in landscape right okay um now let's say if we choose um portrait like this you can see it did change it let's look at the preview you can see our drawing became portrait you can see it doesn't fill the whole paper you can see some space here some space here other drawings can be uh, in portrait direct direction so i will change them in uh, portrait okay now for now let's look at um, landscape like this you can see it fills the whole uh, paper let's just make it more smaller like this like this okay and click another one and the preview like this you can see it is now filling more this uh, drawing okay okay there is another option which you can see here plot object line weights let's look at the preview once more you can see there are objects which have um, light weight and these are more visible right there are lightweight and heavy uh, line weight so if I would like to make them all similar to each other, we can disable line weight, plot object line weight like this, and preview like this. Now look carefully what will happen. You can see all of the colors are now having the same weight. If you look at here, you can see they are all having the same weight. Okay, like this. Okay, if you choose the first option, which we um, which we use sometimes like this, you can see the the different weight is now showing in the figure. Okay, now if I would like to uh, save this style, we have saved this one. I will just click on Add like this and make it set up. Let's say electrical one. Okay, this is a setup electrical electrical one okay this is a setup for uh, for any future drawings okay so it is now saved here okay now if i click on okay remember that we if we click on okay it will print however we don't have any print right now so i can change just to change it dwg to bdf so if i click on okay like this go to a desktop like this and floor Okay, so now we have our uh, BDF file or BDF uh, drawing. Close this one. Okay, we can zoom in like this. And we have everything that we are looking for, as you can see here. Okay, the same drawing, but in uh, BDF uh, format. So in this lesson, we learned about the printing options inside the AutoCAD uh, program.